Two big stories we're following this week. The House of Representatives voting on Senate Bill 1, passing that near total ban on abortion. This says lawmakers at the state and federal level pause to remember a fallen colleague, Representative Jackie Wolarski, who tragically died in a car crash this past week in northern Indiana. Flags were lowered to half-staff across Indiana at the White House and outside the U.S. Capitol this weekend, where Wolarski was remembered on the Senate floor this past week. I, for one, am, am truly devastated. I, I know that Jackie loved the state of Indiana. She loved the Hoosiers throughout the state. Um, she had an incredible sense of humor, She's incredibly smart, so talented in, in, in many ways. One of the first great Hoosiers I got to know on my own journey. She will be missed, and our condolences to all of the families. Indiana's congressional delegation issued this joint statement from lawmakers uh, on both sides, saying Representative Wolarski fought each and every day for the lives and livelihoods of Hoosiers in Indiana's 2nd District. She was a great friend and colleague to many of us in Congress, and her untimely death is a tremendous loss for the House of Representatives and the state of Indiana. This week, we spoke with several colleagues who served with her at the state and federal level who spoke highly of her life and her career in public service. Jackie Wolarski was born and raised in South Bend, and after a brief career in television, the Taylor University grad went on to serve her community in several different roles before being elected to serve at the State House, where she held office as a state representative from 2005 to 2010. In focus, panelist Mike Murphy served alongside her in the House. She was somebody who took her work very seriously, was very dedicated to her work on behalf of the people of Northern Indiana. Um, but she never made any enemies, which in politics, everybody makes enemies, except for Jackie Walorski. She always left the podium with a smile and shaking hands with whoever she was debating. After running for Congress unsuccessfully in 2010, Walorski was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 2012, where she served alongside former congressman and current Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita. She's a fighter. And she fought for all the right reasons, and she fought for Indiana, and she loved her work, and she loved people. She also had a great sense of humor, and, um, and you can reach people with a sense of humor, and, um, and she did. And, um, and, and that's what I hope to, you know, you know, that's what I hope people remember. Wolarski joined us on air in 2020 and again last year for a live town hall with Indiana's congressional delegation focused on the pandemic. I can't say enough about our health care workers who are our heroes and inside of every single elected government, how everybody's been focused on one thing. And it's been, let's do this for our district. Let's do this for our state. Now she's being remembered by her colleagues on both sides of the aisle as a public servant who worked to represent the people of her district. We're losing a leader. And let me just say we very much appreciated her willingness to be a part of those town hall conversations along with members of Congress from both parties who are all expressing their condolences this week, including more of Wolarski's former colleagues at the State House. Our Kristen Eskow spoke with State Rep Bob Baining. Jackie was a very uh, committed uh, legislator, very committed to her district, uh, uh, very good conservative woman who had a uh, strong faith and uh, a very strong commitment to uh, and work ethic. She uh, was uh, delightful to work with. Um, you know, she had a, a background in media, just like you, at one point in her life, and uh, she came to us. Uh, so it's just a tragic story to hear of someone losing um, their life anyway, but so uh, suddenly, and then as I with the two young staffers that were with her as well that had committed their lives to uh, serving the people of the second district. It's really a sad day. What was she like as a person? Um, she actually was a very uh, kind person, very compassionate, um, always willing to uh, listen. She was a great speaker too, honestly. She was a very good orator and uh, was able to respond uh, very uh, to to a lot of the uh, issues of the day in a very effective way. What do you think her loss means for the people of her district and Indiana as a whole? I think it. Well, I think it's tragedy to um, for the people of her district. I think it also just shows us how fragile life is. 
And we heard from former GOP lawmaker Mike Murphy earlier. He's back now along with former state Democratic Party chair Robin Winston. And this was certainly stunning news, Mike, about someone that you served with there at the State House. How will she be, be remembered? Well, I hope she's remembered as the happy warrior who had a heart of, of a servant. I mean, just several weeks ago, she finished working on an emergency refugee uh, passport, if you want to call it that, a family in East Africa in hiding because they're afraid they're going to be killed by the government there. She got them all set up despite the fact that the State Department said it could take two years. She got involved, waded into it, got them their, all their emergency documents, and they will soon be here in Indiana starting a new life in America. And sadly, that family will never get to know the lady that saved their lives. One of her very final acts there. Um, Robin, you know, politics can certainly be a a, a cruel business, but the reaction, uh, no doubt, on both sides has been somber and, and, and heartfelt this week, remembering not only the Congresswoman, but also the two staffers who were there with her I in the car uh, as, as this crash took place. Uh, so much of politics uh, relies on so many people uh, behind the scenes who, who, who take our elected officials and candidates all across the state as they were doing. I commend people all the time that devote their energy to public service. Uh, she lost two young staffers one who was involved in Republican politics in St. Joe County. Um, she was doing what so many of these elected officials do best, out serving the people. Um, look at what the president said about her. She was working with him on hunger-related issues. And even her opponent, I communicated with him earlier this week, Joe Donnelly, who ran a very spirited race against her. Um, he sent a letter as saying that he absolutely admired the way that she carried herself. So. You respected uh, what you do on this earth, and, and our prayers are with her family and with the staffers' families who were involved in that horrific accident. Robin and Mike, well said. Uh, we appreciate it. All right, coming up next on this week's edition of In Focus, more coverage from the State House on the abortion bill. We're getting reaction from Senator Todd Young and his opponent, Tom McDermott, on the abortion debate. Also ahead, we'll hear from former Vice President Mike Pence, who made an appearance here in Indiana this past week.